For the last 12 years or so, I've used Chrome almost exclusively. As a user experience engineer, I spend a lot of time in my browser and have some strong opinions about how it should work. I've tried switching browsers before. I've used Safari and Firefox, but I always come back to Chrome until now. About six months ago, I heard about the browser company, the company that makes Arc, and they were pitching a new internet, a completely new browser experience, and my initial reaction was that this was all marketing and hype. To give you an example, they emailed me the day before I received my invite so that I could mentally prepare. I scoffed a little bit when I received that email, but I did get excited, and I was a little bit curious about what Arc would actually bring. When I installed and finally opened the browser for the first time, I was greeted with this lovely animation, and it was definitely a bit overhyped, but it was also a lot of fun. When you first create your account on Arc, they issue you a membership card with your name and a fun, quirky title. This is a nice touch and welcomes you to the club. It makes you feel special and unique. And that was cool, until switching computers caused my membership card to get regenerated. I don't remember what my original title was, but Industrious Adventurer will have to do. Enough about the onboarding experience, let's talk about using the actual browser. To put it simply, it's nearly perfect. The team behind Arc looked at the browser, studied how people use it, and then started re-engineering the experience from the ground up. Well, almost. The browser frame itself, the thing that renders the content, uses Chromium, which is the same engine as Chrome, so there aren't any weird rendering quirks, which I think is table stakes here. All the websites you are used to visiting will continue working as they always have, and if you have any Chrome extensions that you rely on, those work as well. They even let you import your settings from Chrome, Safari, and it's clear that the Arc team understood how painful switching browsers can be, and they spent what looks like a ton of time smoothing out as many of those rough edges as possible. So that was my initial onboarding experience four months ago, but let's fast forward to today and how I actually use it now. What has it solved, and how has it changed the way I use my browser? Well, first of all, everything is organized into these things that Arc calls spaces. I like to call them contexts because that's how I use them. I have a home context, a work context, and then a context for YouTube. You give each its own theme and you can easily tell which context you're in based on these borders around the side. Each has its own set of tabs and folders and you can even have different user profiles. If you've never used user profiles, they allow you to have different browser sessions and a unique set of logins. For example, you can have a personal context and be logged into your personal accounts and a work context and be logged into your work accounts. This comes in really handy for sites that you use in both, like Google or maybe Figma. You can switch between these seamlessly on the fly so that you're always focused on the context at hand and not have to worry about losing your place if you need to context switch for some reason. For instance, it's not uncommon for me to start a personal project before work switch my work context throughout the morning, and then switch back to personal context while I have some lunch, and then back to work once lunch is over. Switching is effortless with one click or a single keystroke, and everything is exactly where I left it. This leads to a level of organization that I've not achieved in a browser before. Speaking of organization, Arc goes out of its way to keep you in one window with all of your tabs right there instead of all over. This was probably the biggest challenge for me in switching to Arc because I was so used to doing work where I would have multiple browser windows side by side. In order to make this tenable, they have really good split screen support where you can press a keyboard shortcut to start a new tab next to your current tab, or you can drag an existing tab from your sidebar to go alongside your current window. It is all very seamless and goes a long way towards keeping me in one browser experience. Back when I used Chrome, I installed a Chrome extension so that I could bring all of my Chrome tabs back into one window. Arc's design makes it so I no longer need to do this. Speaking of design, if you think about the design of your computer's screen, the constrained dimension is the vertical one. Apple noticed this a while back and recently changed the new MacBook Pros to have a 16 by 10 aspect ratio instead of the typical 16 by 9. This gives you a larger effective workspace in a similar size screen. And Arc takes this one step further and moves what's traditionally been at the top of your browser to a sidebar on the left, giving you additional room to work, but also making a space for you to organize your tabs, which is a great segue into what I think is truly special about Arc. Arc is the first browser I've seen that embraces maintaining your workspaces and makes it seamless and natural to do so. Whenever I find a theme emerging with the tabs that I have open, 
I drag them above this divider to maintain them. And more importantly, I can put them in a folder so that I can pick up this workspace again in the future. This has opened up a completely new way of working for me where I've taken the core of Tiago Forte's para method. If you're curious about that, I have a video on that here. In each context, I have a folder for projects, resources, and archive. I hope you'll find this fairly intuitive that in projects, I have a folder for each of my projects. Resources have common pages that I need to check up on regularly. I could put them at the root of the sidebar, but I want my browser experience to be as distraction-free as possible, which is also why I don't dock Gmail as a favorite. It's nice that Arc supports this, but I don't need to be checking my email any more than I already do. Speaking of distraction-free, this is the first browser where I actually use full screen mode because it's effectively just hiding the sidebar, which you can do with a single press of Command S and then toggle it back by pressing the same shortcut. I keep each of those project folders around until the project is complete, and then when I'm done, I can just drag it to the archive. This is a place where I know I can find them, but I don't have the burden of seeing them or keeping them in working memory. Being able to save sets of tabs is not completely new. It's something that I used to do with a Chrome extension called Tabbox, but Arc takes this to a completely new level. More and more, I find that the browser is where I work on my projects and collect my resources. So being able to have first-class organization here is a legitimate upgrade. Arc does a ton of other things like easels and notes and screenshot management, but I'm not gonna get into that in this initial video. But if you're curious about that or want a deeper dive into how I organize my Arc, let me know down in the comments and I can put that together. Do hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're curious about Arc and wanna give it a shot, then drop me a comment below, and as I have invites available, I will share those with subscribers down in the comments. If you liked this video, you'd probably also like my iPhone productivity video. I'll have that linked over here on the side. Thank you again for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.